Do you want to make sure the attorney that you're hiring to create your estate plan for you and your family actually is qualified to do so? Well, this week in our 21 week series of questions you should ask your estate planning attorney, we're going to ask why did they choose estate planning in the first place? So remember that this is a continuing series. Um, there will be 21 different questions that we're asking. So hit the subscribe button at the bottom. Make sure that you get notifications of the new uh, videos as they're put up so that you can follow along and so that you have the resources to actually hire a qualified estate planning attorney. So I'm Scott Stork with Polaris Law Group. We're an estate planning and probate law firm in Missouri. And I'm Raymond Chandler, one of the partners of Polaris as well. So again, why did the attorney choose to go into estate planning? Why is that an important question? Why is that something you should know about from your attorney? Um, the first kind of basic side of that is, is the experience they're having, is this something that they're passionate about? Is there something that they're doing, or is it just a job? Or where they were assigned to estate planning by their partner, or something of that nature. It's kind of rare out there, but sometimes you know, you'll have attorneys that this is just what happens to walk in the door, so they happen to do it and things like that. And do you want to make sure that your, uh, your attorney that you're going to hire to protect your family for the future, and do they have a passion to do that? Um, is there a passion for that area of the law? Is it something that they really care about? Um, if they have an experience as to why they chose it that, that, that shows that, is it enough of a passion that you know they're going to be you know, keeping up with the law and making sure that they're excited by it on a daily basis and things like that? Um, and then what experience drove them to choose estate planning? Is that an experience that, that resonates with you and they could apply that to your family? So a lot of attorneys choose areas of law based on experiences they've had in the past. Some, some attorneys have gone into law school based on an experience they had in the past or something that happened to them. Um, they've had the experience that it happened to their family or something of that nature. Is that something that drove them to have a passion for this area? Estate planning is a, is a very important area of law that you if you don't have a passion for it, it becomes very dry unfortunately you may not be able to um, an attorney may not be able to explain it to you in a way that you know you get excited about your estate plan which you should at least for a little bit be excited about having your estate plan and being and you know congratulations that you did it type thing um do they have that passion do they have that way to work with you and your family that shows that this is an area of the law that they they love and, and and really care about and really the most important reason i think why that is important is because this should be a relationship you're building with your attorney. Estate planning really should not be transactional, where it's you, you meet the attorney one time and then you sign your documents and then you go on your way and you never call them again for the rest of your life. You should have at least some basic relationship with your attorney for the remainder of, of your estate. And, and your family should probably have a relationship with that attorney as well, because this is a family project in estate planning. So having a knowledge of that attorney's background and passion and why they're choosing the estate plan may lead to that relationship it, it and you know it, there's many qualified attorneys out there that could probably write a decent estate plan but do they have a relationship with you that's going to resonate with you are you going to get along with them with personality and unfortunately this is as good as we get so it is what it is but you know do you have a relationship with that attorney can you get along with that attorney does their why resonate with you and that's really what this question gets down to is what is your why and you know there's a lot of information out there about you know telling people what your why is what your passion is and that's really what this question is about is, is making sure that you understand where your attorney's coming from on that side um so scott why did you choose to do estate planning well that's a that's a good question and um so just kind of by way of background um, both ray and i have been attorneys for a long time um, we actually uh, met and became friends while we were prosecutors. Um, so the first 10 years of my practice um, has what was mainly doing criminal litigation as a prosecutor. Um, Ray, you, you can talk about yours, but you had a similar experience. When I went out into private practice, um, I started off um, doing kind of general um, general law, uh, meaning I would do a lot of different areas. And one of those, just because everybody else kind of did that by way of being a general practitioner, was doing estate planning. Um, and but what really drove me to specialize in estate planning um, was about nine or ten years ago. Um, I actually had a, a friend who was very young, uh, 35 at the time and he got cancer um, and it was a very aggressive form of cancer um, and so um, kind of typical for that age he had a young child he had a wife um, and it was a pretty traumatic experience for that family and and for his friends and for him and um, long story short um, for the better part of a year 
we talked about the fact that there was probably some estate planning that he needed to do, uh, but um, like many people, he just didn't get to it. And um, time went by, we talk about it, it didn't happen. Um, and so as his cancer progressed and as it got uh, more aggressive and more pronounced, I got a call, um, I will never forget, on a Monday morning, and his uh, wife called me from the hospital and said, could you come down? We think we want to start that estate planning. So I went down, I visited them, um, we kind of designed a, a fairly simplistic type of plan, uh, went back to my office, was kind of get the, the documents going, and um, she called me um, on Thursday morning of that week and said, hey, um, he took a turn for the worse overnight. Uh, could you please get down here right away so that we can, uh, because I'm worried and we don't know what to do. Well, I picked up my, uh, my, my wife, we went down there. By the time I got there, um, he basically was um, non-responsive. He was just asleep all the time. And a nurse and I spent the better part of uh, over an hour in his room trying to get him um, awake and coherent enough to sign those documents. And uh, he eventually woke up enough, um, had heard me, even though he really wasn't responding to me, um, grabbed for the pen, scribbled his, um, his name on a power of attorney document, and then basically fell back asleep and never woke up again. Um, and he passed away very shortly thereafter. And that had a really um, dramatic effect on me. And it was at that point in time that I decided I only should be doing estate planning because I saw um, kind of firsthand how difficult in a crisis situation not having a plan could be. Um, and it really drives me to this day and it's why I have a passion for estate planning and it's, it's, it's my why for why we do, why I do planning. And I have a similar story and, and that uh, I've seen some family members and, and, and see, seen what happens when an estate plan wasn't set up right. Um, and to the point where there's people that don't talk to each other anymore and it's, it's a pretty sad situation. I saw some of that in my life, uh, some of that in my family and, and started really looking at estate planning from, from that perspective of why did this happen? Isn't there something we could have done? Is there something I should have done um, for them? And then, and then really just started looking at estate planning and seeing that the families that, that are injured the worst in estate planning. It's not because of anybody did anything wrong. It's just nobody knew what to do, and it's really the area of law that the families get hurt, devastated. They lose money. They lose relationships. They get mad at each other, and it started from just a lack of knowledge, not knowing what to do, not knowing the documents needed to say this, or not knowing the the assets needed to do this, or not knowing that they needed an estate plan in the first part, not knowing that a will doesn't avoid probate, all sorts of stuff like that, where it's it's not based on somebody doing something wrong. It's based on just a lack of knowledge, and so I love sitting across the table from a client, from a family, and just teaching about this, just helping them learn about how this works, about what's going on, about what this does, what that does, all the options that are out there. Um, that's probably my favorite day is when it's just nothing but talking to clients constantly about how this works and explaining it all and things like that. That's why we're doing the videos. That's why we do what we do. That's why the passion is there. It's because I want to make sure that, that families are, are being taken care of that they understand how this works. Um, not just simply that they, even that they have the documents, but that they understand how the documents work because that lack of knowledge causes such a big problem for people. That's where the family fights come in. That's where the litigation starts. That's where you don't talk to your aunts and uncles and brothers and sisters and stuff for years and years and years because it just simply wasn't set up ahead of time and wasn't talked about, wasn't explained. And so to me, that's why I'm here, is to make sure that doesn't happen to anybody else, to make sure that we can educate you and your family, our clients' families, to know that what they're doing is right for their family. Set expectations and make sure that families know what to do and aren't destroyed, devastated, just because they didn't have the knowledge base of what they were supposed to do. Um, so again, this has been our, our 21 week series that we're doing. Um, this is our question today about, about, you know, why did you choose estate planning? And we want to make sure that you and your family have the questions that you should be asking attorneys if we were like the same questions we would ask if we were hiring an attorney. And we want you to be armed with those questions to make sure you're getting an attorney that is going to serve you the best and make sure your estate plan works. 
So next week, our question is going to be what percentage of your practice is focused on estate planning? And that's going to be very important. So make sure you uh, stick around, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, get your notifications set up uh, to make sure that you're notified when the videos go live and when they come out uh, so you can be armed with these 21 questions and uh, make sure that you stick, stick around and, and find out all the information. So I'm Raymond Chandler, a uh, partner at Polaris Law Group. And I'm Scott Stork, um, his partner at Polaris Law Group, and we appreciate you being here and, and listening to the video. Thanks so much.